What's up everyone? Guess what today is? Today is the day where I went and got my frame from Michaels to where if you didn't watch them, I did those two vlogs, part one and part two. The first one, I showed you what the picture was that I got framed. I went there, got everything, now here's what I got. Okay, the matting, I got gothic green. The outer frame itself, it's called Distressed Barnwood. And of course, I did get the museum glass so that way there's no reflection when you're standing in front of it. So, I'm gonna go ahead Oh, I'm really pumped up to see this. I waited for you guys to see it so that way we can see it together. So let me go ahead, take this off, and then that's when I zoom in. This is the back anyway, so. Oh, man, I'm so pumped. And, oh, duh, there's a piece of cardboard there. So let me throw that to the side. Then, here we go. As a matter of fact, and pull you in closer. Okay, that'll do for now. So, we get all of this out of the way. Sorry if it's too loud on camera. Oh, it's kind of heavy actually. Oh, oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Oh my gosh. They did an amazing job once again. Let me pull you in closer to show you the details. As I was saying, that museum glass, it does not show reflection. It does if you put it in front of a window. Of course, that's completely open. Of course, you're going to see that light. But when I put the curtain down, you can see the light glowing from around it. But if I move it to a different spot, you will not see any reflection. Only when there's like dead on light behind it, you know. Okay, this is better. As I'm sitting right in front of it, you can tell there's no reflection. And as I'm really up close right here, no reflection. Look at that detail on that picture. Adorama Picks is the one who printed this out. I picked matte finish. And let's check out these borders. Right here is the Gothic Green, the one I picked. Well, technically he was the one, the guy who actually helped me with the frame. He was the one who said, why not do this with a silver? It's kind of hard to pick it up on camera, but that silver border right there after the green, it is sparkly. And it does not distract from the picture at all. It looks beautiful in person. It's just hard to pick up on the camera. So with that said, I think I'm going to put it up against this back wall. So let me go get my drywall mounts and then we'll get it hung up. Oh, and by the way, I will be changing that out soon because I have a second light in here to brighten it up because that is way too dim. So, I'll be getting another light, so if you do see a reflection when I put this up and show you, it's because I have another light in here to help out with the video. So, enough talking, let me go ahead and get it hung up. And there it is, I know it's kind of far away, and sorry I changed shirts, I didn't realize there was a big hole on the back, so I'm throwing that away. Went and got a level, so I can make sure that it's level here. It looks like it's slightly off, not by much, it'll be straightening it out, and... According to that, that's perfectly level. Sorry if there is reflection. Like I said, I put a light behind that because this has got to go. It's not bright enough. Man, I will admit, Michaels does great, but next time I get a picture printed up, I'm going to go to a custom shop that's locally owned because I didn't really know we had some here around in my town because they're not promoting themselves that well, I guess, because they never popped up. I just heard by word of mouth, so I'm going to check them out in a new video probably in a long future, but let me pull you in closer and show you it. This looks beautiful. Okay, sorry for the random cut, but I just wanted to say for the lighting, I figured out this is a different day, by the way. I got these little spotlights on Amazon and they will come up if you look for them. They're called picture lights and you can either screw it in on the top ceiling or use the Velcro sticker, which I'm gonna do. So that way it can light up the picture and not only that, comes with a remote. That's the coolest thing right there. So that way, I don't got to get up there. It's dimmable. I'm not sure if I hit the right button. Yeah, you can tell there. That's 50, 100%. So let's go put these on upstairs. And then look at the picture after I get these installed. Okay, Tori's on the computer right now, but got my ladder ready. And as you can see how dark it is in here, I don't want too much light in here in the first place. I was thinking that if I put these spotlights on this picture, that'll be good enough, and I'll get some more to shine on that picture over there, and more for over here. So I'm gonna go ahead, get up there, and put them up. Okay, as I climb up here, like the Hardy Boys, so props if you get that. First, 
I'm turning around the wrong way. Let me see you here how it's going to look. And position it first. Yeah, I think three lights will do. Okay, I got this aimed up at the ceiling, so here's what it looks like when we turn them on. Those are pretty bright. Let me try to dim them down a little bit. Let me see what that looks like. Meh. For the picture, oh, I don't know, that looks good on the picture. Let me show you on camera what it looks like on the picture. Okay, here it is dark. Well, duh, you can see. I'm a freaking idiot. Okay, now let's turn them on. Look at that. Beautiful. Now, I will admit, like I said, it is a little warm. I wish these lights were a little cooler, but it works. I just, well, I can't talk right now. I'm just dazed into this picture. It's beautiful. Okay, take two. This part, the Velcro, of course, you can see what type of ceiling I have. Those, like, I don't know what they call those. They look like spider webs. It, they did that with the house. The Velcro was staying, but on the middle one, it was falling. So I went ahead, took Velcro off of all of them and I screwed them all to the ceiling a lot better now so now to show the picture one more time and here we are so I'm gonna go ahead and close off this video it was not a sponsored video from Michaels or Amazon from those spotlights but man those spotlights are worth it because it just makes this picture pop and as I said before that non reflective glass on top of the job that Michaels did I just, man, I love this so much. So thank you everyone for stopping by and checking out my art. It means a lot to me because, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I don't have the right words because I can't stop staring at it. But anyway, ha. So thank you once again for joining and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll check you later.